Link 2012. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Concrete Games. I'm recording this in advance because I'm going to be offline for the next week or two. And I'm sorry that uh, it's not the highest quality and <laughs> there's not going to be that much editing, but I've just got to get some episodes pumped out here. So we're going to do this. Uh, another important thing, I'm going to be playing through a lot of these Congregate games. Uh, let me know if you want me to make a concrete rating system for them, because as it is right now, I don't really have a concrete rating system for it. But I think it might be useful if I do. That way I can consistently rate games and sort of give developers more feedback on the games I play. Uh, this game was... So let's just jump into the game, too. This game is called Orcs vs. Elves. It's by a really, really great developer on Congregate. The name is Eddie Nardo. Eddie Nardo makes all sorts of little games. His games are usually centered around exploring a particular concept, and they're really, really short, usually only, they're usually under 30 minutes long. So I don't expect to be playing a really long game here. I expect it to be really short. I expect it to be a really interesting mechanic. But this guy has a repertoire, is basically what I'm saying. Eddie Nardo, good guy. He, this game is called Orcs vs. Elves, like I said, currently up a car gate, average rating of 3.59. Let's just jump into it. Alright, so apparently this is a, what's it called, Pong game? Oh, interesting. So who do I want to win? Am I on any particular side, I wonder? This is really interesting. Okay, so the longer your balls stay out there, the more damage they end up doing. That's interesting. Oh, and you get more balls as time goes on. Interesting. I never played a game like this, so I really don't know what I'm what I should be expecting here. My guess is that I want to go at sort of a really, really how I put it, sideways angle. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a little bit like that. That way they go back and forth more often. But as I said, I'm a little bit... Oh, okay, so you can only take your angle so much to one side. So if I go like this... Yeah, okay, so that's not going to work out for me too well. But at least it was worth trying. Yeah, it looks like you need it in the... You need to get it just right. So the, the sounds when the balls hit all of the characters is really, really satisfying. I'm not sure if I completely understand the mechanics of the game. Because basically just uh, launching balls everywhere. Which is kind of neat, I guess. I think it's an arcade game, too. So this has sort of an end. Sorry, it has no end. <laughs> all right. Oh, and the damage bar resets if a ball goes out of bounds, which is really, really interesting, too. Cool. Oh, and there's little corners up here at the top which change the direction of the ball. So I don't think I have to worry too much about my launch angle, because it sort of gets resolved later on. But that's actually really probably wise that they have that there. That way it keeps the balls from going infinitely in some sort of loop, as I'd imagine it would be possible to make. Oh, interesting. So they uh, they changed the game recently to where the balls fly much faster. That way you don't have to wait a long, long time for everything. It's pretty cool. Score 19. So I'm guessing the score is like the number of balls I have. This is kind of interesting. I guess it's really satisfying to see them bouncing around everywhere when you get a good shot. Alright, so we have 21, so this guy's not going to die if I hit him. A 
Okay. This guy will die, though, so I need to hit a little bit higher here. Oops. Missed. Taking down some guys here, though. Yeah, I wonder what it's gonna, like, is there a point to the game? Are you gonna be able to beat it? Is this just, this just an arcade game? It's kind of boring if it's just an arcade game. Oh, whoa! So you got, like, wizards and all that now? That, to shoot fireballs? Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Like, how do you lose is also what I'm wondering. How do you, how do you, like, how do you win and how do you lose? And, oh, there are. So if you hit these guys, these orcs in the back right here, they sh they shoot uh, they shoot little spears. Neat. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So we get a little bit of help from them. That's cool. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty sweet. Now, I'm still not sure whose side I'm supposed to be on here, but that's just kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. So are we supposed to like root for a side or something? Supposed to make one of the sides lose and win. But yeah, that's interesting because you can attack one side and then the other will get damaged because uh because they're they're shooting all these projectiles and stuff. Oh yeah, we're getting more damage here now. Three damage. Nice. But yeah, no, our score is equal to the number of rounds we survive, I suppose. I'm still not sure how we're supposed to lose, though. Like, I'm really curious about that. But what's for sure, if we hit these fellas, they're gonna cause lots of damage because of the, uh, the effect that they throw spears. It's kind of an investment. Where do you want to hit? Who do you want to hit? And actually, in that case, you wouldn't want more damage, because you'd want them to hit more often. So interesting. Oh, snap. I almost didn't do something good for myself. Yeah, but these guys are getting a lot more health, obviously. I will say, yeah, the uh, the sound that it makes when it hits the the guys is, is really satisfying. Oh wow, two damage on one of the on the those balls is pretty good. Um, the death sound isn't that great comparatively. The bouncing sounds great. The sound effects that they make when firing projectiles is great. Oh, that was really cool when I got it to go up and down like so. All right. I don't know what to do at this point besides maybe, like, just go up. Oop, I missed absolutely everything. Very, very bad. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I'm really wondering how they move forward. Do they move forward all together or do they move up to the rest of the crowd right here? Because currently we got these these lone wolves way out here. Four damage. Five. <laughs> oh, they all move together. Okay, that's interesting. It's like, is the goal to get the human or the orc to one side or the other? I really... This is what, what's, what's difficult about this game, is that there's no concrete rules. It's like, if I'm going to criticize it, I'm going to criticize it for that. Now, it's just fun to play. I will say that. Like, this is just fun to play. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get bored, but this is just stinking fun to play. Like, it's just fun to see balls back and, bouncing back and forth against humans and orcs. It's just fun. And that's great. <laughs> so, have to give, give it to the game for that. Ha have to hand it to the game. Yeah, oops. Okay. Cool. I'm being very lazy right now. Oh, that's cool. So if you hit it at the right angle, you can hit these corners right here. Oh, interesting. I really don't know how the balls bounce, to be honest with you. I don't have the hang of it yet. 
There's probably some fine art in how you shoot your ball. Nice. There we go, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, we almost got two damage on all of those balls. If only had lasted a little bit longer. Nice, got two damage now. Oh, snap, we missed him. Okay, we got some damage in there. There we go, that's pretty sweet. I guess if you get them close enough to each other, you end up with that situation where uh, the balls are just going to go crazy in there. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I'm not sure if they like, what happens if they reach each other? Are they going to melee attack each other? That's what I wonder. I don't think we'll ever find out, sadly, just because of the way the game works, but that would be cool to figure out. I guess if they get close enough, we can just try and see what happens. So now I'm really curious. What if they meet each other? What's going to happen? There's high scores in this game, too, so maybe you can game over in it. Yeah, I have this people like a 500 score. What's this about? Now I'm really interested. Four damage, five damage. <laughs> oh, I love that. I want to take down this wizard right here. This is giving me trouble. What if I do just shoot down? Like, what's going to happen here? Okay, so you do game over. Okay, so you can game over here. That's interesting. So I'm going to play another round here. I'm going to play two rounds here total. Because uh, I don't think, obviously, that we're going to try to go very far. I, I don't think that there's a lot to this game, really. I mean, so... What I would really like is a game like this that's really challenging in some regard. Like, I'm not sure how you would end up losing besides that. And it's pretty hard to lose in that way that we just did right there. Um, so, but it would be cool if you could get, like, money and then upgrade your stuff. You see, here's the thing I like and don't like about Eddie Nardo's games. And with Eddie Nardo's games, he's got these really, really cool concepts, right? These really interesting concepts that if you go build on them, they would make some pretty lit games. But at the same time, he never does. He just sort of makes the game and that's it. And uh, I really wish that we had more to these games. You know, like he made some more levels or he added some more content or, you know, he adds some more depth to this. Because this game could use so much more depth. Like imagine an upgrade system. Like each time you lose, you can get some extra upgrades. It makes your bar balls more powerful. You can shoot more balls and get faster. You know, your damage gets upgraded quicker. Stuff like that. Just all, lots of random stuff. And, uh... You know, and then you could start on higher waves, maybe, you know, buy that per power up to do that. Like, it's so much potential here, and I feel like it's kind of wasted, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Like, this game in particular, it's mediocre without any extra content. I'll be honest with you. Like, without any upgrades or anything like this, you know, I'm going to enjoy this here for, my, for the next 10-15 minutes, however long I play it for. And that's going to be it. And I'm going to be done with this game. But if there's more to it, it could definitely last a long time. Okay, 
Now I'm trying to think of how to strategize in this game. I really don't know how. I guess you could hit like this, and then they would hit a lot of people up and downwards. But then you don't get them going back and forth. Like, ideally, you want the balls going back and forth, right? So I don't know how to achieve that, really. Besides hitting these corners up here. And that slowly makes them go more to the side. Three damage now. Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, that's- oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, did you see that? It was going back and forth. Back- you guys saw that, obviously. Unless you're just listening to this in the background. Which could be the case, you never know. Oh, you can, like, aim as far as you want. <laughs> I love how that did nothing. Like, can you die if one of the sides disappears? Is it game over for you? This is what I must know. And I want to know how many different enemies there are in this. Because you got your wizards throw in fireballs, and you're going to have your orcs with their crazy stinking uh, spears coming up here. Yeah, look at that. These guys have taken another top row. Because those wizards are so OP. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you do it. Two different sets of balls. So, like, if you hit them to the point where an enemy dies, you can sort of uh, ha end up having them going in different directions. The reason that's not really desirable is you don't have enough time to build up the damage multiplier. Like, that's the only reason that, you know, you might want to be cautious of that. Oops. That was really bad. There we go. That was pretty sweet. Okay, we're getting really close to death here. Oh, snap. Is this it? This can't be it. Okay, good. That wasn't it. I was going to be so disappointed if that was the end of the game. It's going to be like, no, we've already lost. We only have 35. What's going on? Now I'm, okay, now I'm actually enjoying the game. <laughs> now I actually like this. Okay. Oh, snap. Now it's stuck in there. Oh, boy. That was going crazy. Oh, wow. Those balls are going everywhere now. For every person that dies, they end up splitting their path, so that's pretty neat. It was always those few that end up at the top, and then all the rest of them just die really quickly. <laughs> They're throwing all their spears and stuff. <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. This is fun. It's just funny. It's just really funny. It's funny and the, the sounds aren't, like, disruptive or anything either, which is great. Like, that's an issue that some of these games run into. It's just like, oh, the sounds are disruptive. Like, uh, who who else here remembers, um, what's that game called? Like, a uh, Bounce Idol or something like that? Bounce? I can't remember what the game's called. Idol Bounce or something like that. And the sounds in that game got so obnoxious. Like, they were great sounds, don't get me wrong, but because there were so many of them, it just got super obnoxious. I don't think that's going to happen with this game. I really, really hope it won't. Obviously, if people have gotten scores of 500, they have, like, 500 balls going around here all at once, so I don't know. But... I love it. Yeah, shoot those fireballs. What if we kill all the orcs? What if? What if? This is the question I must I must have answered. I must have this question answered. Oh, 
Oh, I don't think we'll answer that question though anytime soon. Ah, very nice, very, very nice. Alright. See if we can get this guy. Yeah, we got those guys taken care of, which is really useful to us. Now they're just really, really far apart. It suits us well. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell. Hmm. Don't know what I'm getting myself into now. It's kind of fun. All right, we're at score 50 right now, so we're making our way back up. Ooh, that was deadly. The ball's just going up and down, although we had this little ledge right here, which is stopping them from doing that forever. Yeah, I kind of got to exploit these guys that shoot, uh, shoot their own little things to help us out. I figured that would happen, where they would go around in a circle here. It's kind of a bummer. But, oh well. What can you do? Oh, that's actually, wow, surprisingly good. Okay. It's nice. <laughs> All those spears. All them spears. Alright, what if I hit it, like, up this way? Oh, whoops, that was really bad. Oh, nope, that wasn't so bad. It was actually way better than I was expecting it to be. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that was actually really, really nice. Sweet. When are we going to get the next uh, sort of bad guy, though? Or good guy? What are these guys, even? Are, so we're supposed to keep them from, like, killing each other by killing themselves. It's what's interesting about the concept of this game. It's just, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you're killing the orcs and the humans. That way they don't meet each other. And somehow meeting each other causes them to kill you. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> We're 60, right? Might want to hit right here. Yeah, no, that didn't help us at all. Okay. I was trying to hit it so that way it would hit in between them. But it looks like the collision doesn't work exactly like the way I thought it did. Oh well. Yeah, we want to hit this guy right here. He's giving us problems. Oh, we got new guys here. We got new fellas. Oh, snap. Oh, nope, that was bad. Okay, we, were, we can recover a little bit. Oh, they're green. Oh, they pierce. Holy smokes, we got some new enemies now. Humans are going to wreck these orcs, bro. Humans got their magic coming in. Orcs can't do anything about that. It's got their little... Stinking spears. Just goes around in a circle. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, let's let's. Oh, I wanted to hit the Pierce guy. Oh, I got a few shots on him. You really don't want the extra damage, actually. Because what happens is when you get the extra damage, you only hit these fellows once, and so when they use their ability, it actually causes you more harm than good. So you want them to use their ability to keep everything at bay, right? There we go. Look at all those abilities being used. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Bottom row, though. Bottom row is always annoying. Come on. There we go. It's a little bit better. Orcs still don't have any, like, level 2 baddies. 
They just had their 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 crazy spear thrower. This guy's gotta be an upgrade, man. Where's their upgrade? Or maybe I'm killing too many of the orcs. I don't know how this works exactly. Cause like I wanna know A, what causes more of them to spawn in? And B, what causes them to get an upgrade? And C, like, if they if killing all the guys on one side gives you a game over? These are questions I need answered. These are questions the game does not explain to you. There we go, very nice. Oh, those guys shoot flaming arrows now. Oh, and flaming arrows shoot through all of them too. Okay, so now that's pretty powerful. Right now they're leveling up. I'm trying to figure out how much damage you're doing, too. It's kind of hard to figure out. Find out. Figure out. Find out. I don't know. Man, this is a really bad spot. Okay, now nah, we actually figured it. We did that. That was pretty good, because we hit both of the sides. Oh... Ah, oh, it's actually decent. This might work out for us. Need this guy to... Oh, if we can hit this guy, he's going to shoot through all of them. All the orcs. So maybe it's best if we save this fella? Oh, no, we got another one in the back, so we're good. Yeah, because he'll shoot through every one down here. Yeah, we need to save this fella right here. You see him? Because then he can take down all of the uh, the orcs on that side. No, 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 I did it wrong. Oh, snap. He's really low on HP now. It's <laughs> not what I meant to do. No, why is it always doing the thing I don't want it to do? Oh, snap. Look at that. All the balls are going directly back and forth. It's really, really nice. My question is, how far, how many different baddies does this guy have programmed in the game? What's the limit? And so we actually like these guys with the powers. They make it so that way we can keep everything at bay more easily. Nice-ish. Oh yeah, look at that. They are dealing damage. Nice. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. This is fun. This is fun. I mean, like, I, I'm getting lost in the game right now. I'm forgetting I'm even recording. I'm just sitting here like, oh, this game, man. Definitely would, I, I mean, I don't know. I would recommend it if you want to play just something a little bit stupid and fun for a little while. It's harmless. It's just some nice, easy fun. So the high score is usually people, like, cap out around 300. It's very rare to see people over 300. It's like, on the worst side of things, we'd be one-third away from being done with this. Oh, wait, no, it takes longer for things to fire, so I don't know. Right, now is the time to use this guy, because he's going to shoot through all of them. That'll deal damage. Nice. Need to get this fella down right here. There we go. Good. Our balls took care of that. It's crazy if you try to file, follow them with your eyes. Oh, and then they all just go away from each other because they kill something. <laughs> now they're just crazy chaotic balls. Alright, this is actually looking kind of spooky now. 
So let me try to get this fellow right here. Because he'll deal some damage. There we go. Very, very nice. And that went from being really, really dangerous to nothing at all. How much do I have? 93 balls now. Oh man, I messed that up really, really badly. Okay, how am I going to do this? If I do it like right here? Oh, come on. That was lame. I really messed that one up, didn't I? What about this? Oh no, that's gonna be really bad. Oh, cause yeah, it's gonna hit them through that. Through that. Okay. No, I missed that. I wanted to do the angle so that. Oh, actually, that worked out a little bit better than I was expecting it to. But the orcs are pushing the humans now. Humans like, no, not us. Orcs are like, yes, you should die. Yeah, no, I expected that to happen. But I figured that since I'd destroy all of them in just a few balls, it would be worth it. Okay, now we're... Mmm... Mmm... It's getting weird. Right now we want to hit the human side. Because with humans, these guys will be able to take out a lot on the top row. With the wizards over here. Cool. Yeah, right now it's getting really tough because these guys have 400 health. We only have 100 balls on us, which basically means that we can only take down one fourth of their health with one hit of our balls. So we need to have them bounce a lot. At the same time, they are getting better powers, so able to shoot through people and stuff like that, you know, it's kind of OP. Just wonder how long it's going to go for. It's my question. Oh, that was really bad. Except for the few that got caught up top. So I want to hit it. Ooh, these guys are getting dangerously close. But I think I can work it out. No, that was really bad. Oh, no, that actually worked out. That worked out way better than I thought it would. Holy smokes. I was really worried about that. And this is how this game works. You just be really dumb and, you know, you'll eventually sort of not die. Which is cool. So I want to hit him, like, right in the corner of his head right here. So that way he'll get destroyed. And then after him... Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do exactly, but okay. That kind of works. This guy's going to be a pain. Right here, he's got 200 health. All, all of these guys are going to be a pain. Tons of health. And the thing is, is this damage thing doesn't even start getting going until you fully release all of your balls. So it's not really that useful late game if you want to get more damage on your early balls, which I guess you might want to do if these guys are getting really close to each other. Can I shoot through them? It doesn't hurt to ask. It probably does, but... <laughs> Oh, there we go. We actually got damage on them. There we go. Very nice.
Oh, that was lame. Oh, that was good. That was good. There we go. That's really nice. Oh, holy smokes. Now we're doing extra damage, too. I don't know how to take down the bottom row. I guess we have these wizards and this fella right here, but... Eh, we'll just hope for the best. Yeah, no, there we go. Very nice. Basically, we have to take down one row each time. Oh, did you see that? It's got stuck right in there. It's pretty cool. If I get right in here, this is actually really good. Yeah, I like that, as you saw. Except it didn't go as long as I wanted it to. Boo-hoo. That's not what I wanted. But it actually worked. It was better than what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, this game's so interesting. It's like you think you know what you're doing, but you really don't. Oh, I'm gonna shoot here, and it's gonna do... It's gonna go boing, 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 but it ends up going boing, boing. <laughs> right off, right back at you, you know? Okay. Like that. Like that worked out much better in my head. And this probably will work out better in my head than in the actual game. No, that actually kind of worked out. But it's really hard right now because we don't have lots of things on the screen. I kind of want to use this guy right here, but I'm also kind of scared. If I hit him... Okay, that's really, really close. To being too far down. Alright, that worked. That worked, man. Worked wonders. How far are we gonna go? Am I gonna torture myself anymore? <laughs> it's like, at this point, it's getting to the point where it's just like, oh, it's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. There's nothing to shake it up. There's no new enemies. There's no new concepts. It's just the same old thing. You know, we're getting a few new balls each time. And it's not like the number of balls that's increasing is significant. Uh, because we're just at such a high number right now that, you know, one ball is plus 1% or plus 0.9% more balls. You know, back at the beginning it was, oh, one ball, oh, now two, that's double the amount. <laughs> so, quite a big difference. Alright. So I kind of want to hit you right here. And that didn't work exactly how I thought it would. Not exactly that I wasn't expecting that it would happen, but... How am I supposed to do this? Because I can't really shoot in here, can I? No, I can. For a brief moment. Oh, this might be okay. Nope. Maybe. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we're definitely ending it after this round. Because I'm getting bored of the game now. It's not interesting. Like, again, the game's really fun if you play it. It's like, it's really, like, really fun for for a half an hour, I'd say. I'd say this game's fun for half an hour. You know, play, play it once or twice, and that's it, you know? It's not the kind of game that you're going to go through and you're going to play it a million times. And Oh, yes, how, am I going to beat my high score next time? And that's the thing I don't get about this, is why are there high scores here? Um... Wait, TP? What's TP? There's apparently TP here. Maybe that's like damage or something. I don't know. We got 9 damage there, which is pretty impressive. Get the most damage you need, you're gonna get like a near death experience, though. 
like where one ball's stuck up here and there's only one place for an exit. Obviously you don't want to get to that point, so. Okay, that's pretty neat. I'm just gonna go be done with this now. I really kind of want to go for the leaderboard high score, but at the same time, I'm just done with this. I think you guys are done with this too. I mean, there's only so much enjoyment you can get out of this. It was a cool concept while it lasted. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want you guys to let me know like uh, what kind of games you want to see me play. I want to see you guys tell me if you know you want a rating system. Uh, just tell me what you want. Tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. So is it when they meet each other, like, right now that it's game over? I wonder, or do we have to wait one more turn after they meet each other? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, if you want to get, like, the high score in terms of damage. Yeah, no, it's GG at this point. It's not I can do to salvage this. Their score was 135. Yeah, so, like, as always, Mr. Stinkin' Eddie Nardo, you have the best concepts of your games, but you just don't expand on it. Like, I know, I know it was cute the first few times, okay? The first few times you play these little games and they're fun, and they have an end to them. I think that's really what sticks out about this game is that it's an arcade game. It doesn't really have an end, and so you sort of bore yourself out. There's a really important aspect of games where you want to make them to the point where players enjoy them to the maximum amount that they can. You don't want them to play so little that they don't get as much enjoyment out of them as they could, and you don't want them to play so much to where they're just boring themselves with the amount of content in the game. So, like some of the older games, you know, you could expand on those, make some more levels. In this game, I'd say just make some more mechanics, like add add some sort of currency that you can get in the game and then be able to level up your shooter to get more balls each time or increase your score more, increase your damage faster, uh, increase the base damage of the ball, uh, change the creatures that come out. You know, all, there's all sorts of things that you could do with a game like this. Then you could have like different, you could might be able to have it to where you can win and different qualifiers for losing and then you could have different maps and you know, there's so, so much you could do with Elks versus Orcs. Um, I really hope, Eddie Nardo, if you're watching this, you definitely expand on the concept. I really hope you expand on the concepts of all of your games. They're just so stinking fun, man. Um, but as always, you know, they're, they're just a little bit short. And with this one in particular, I went over that threshold. I, I got to the point where eh, I'm not enjoying this anymore. And it was in the middle of the game. These games aren't fast enough for me to sort of have a really good cutoff point. And that's probably why I think there's a lot of low rating is that yeah, it's really fun at first. You got the nice sounds. It's kind of cool mechanics, but... Eh. Eh. Alrighty. But for all of those of you that are watching right now, I would like to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found it worth your time, leave a like. Otherwise, leave a dislike. Share if someone else might find this insightful. And until next time, 